So trailer's on the back of the truck. Wanagi's in the truck. Hey Wanagi, what are you doing? So we're getting ready to head off on another adventure, folks. Yeah, we spent a long time there at my parents' house, a couple weeks, and it was amazing. Uh, family's always good, and my sister even flew into town, so our whole family was together, which was really nice uh, for a few days. And then uh, it was just nice spending time with my parents and at my house that I grew up at. And Wanagi was safe, and I was safe, and we really enjoyed their company, and I think they appreciated me having me around. I helped out a lot. Uh, but anyways, I love my parents, love my sister, and uh, we're off. We're headed towards a place called Mammoth for today. It's about six hours north. We've been there before in a previous video, the, lots of hot springs. It's up in the Sierras, uh, so it's gonna be a little cooler, uh, probably in the 50s at the most, and then 30s at night. Hey, how's it going? So anyways, we finally made it up here. We're at a place called Hilltop Hot Springs. We've been here before. In an earlier video, we were here a couple months ago when we actually picked up the Ford F-250, the truck who blew up in Mexico. Our camper's just right over here. We got a spot and we're now we're just walking out here to the hot springs and uh, gonna go soak. It's pretty busy, but hopefully people, a lot of them are probably just here for the day, maybe. One, two, three, four cars just here for the day, so hopefully they'll split. This tub will hold a few people in it. We'll just soak for a while if it's too busy. I brought a sandwich, I'll eat my lunch or dinner and hang out, and then, then we'll jump in later. Who knows? I'm not worried about it. All right, peace out. Holy hell, we got a lot going on this morning. <laughs> Dingers going off, all sorts of stuff. Hey, how's it going? So, we got our trailer, it's hooked up. We're in this High Sierras a place up above Bishop, California, near Mammoth, the ski resort. Uh, and they've got so much snow, the ski resort's probably gonna open till August. But uh, we just hung out at the hot springs all night. It was amazing after a six hour drive yesterday. Boy, we needed it, my body was sore. Oh, I should have sat in there this morning, but we only got two days and then the fishing's going to close at a place called Pyramid Lake, which has the, you know, world's largest cutthroat trout. They're massive there. They go into the 20s and 40s pounds. Uh, and But most probably is to get a good 10, 12, even 15 pound fish would be just amazing. Uh, but so we're gonna go check it out because it does close June 1st, which is in just a couple days. Uh, but it does close soon for the season because it just gets too hot and they want to protect the fish. It's catch and release anyways. But uh, yeah, so, but you can see behind me, these are the Sierras. Look at that, Sierra Mountains, still got snow in them. Uh, it's pretty awesome up here, beautiful. It's a really nice sunrise going on right now. And uh, we're just gonna head down this road to the highway and then head north. And uh, we got a couple hour drive, not sure what it is. Uh, probably four hours at the least, I think, to get there. So here comes a big truck. But anyways, that's the plan. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll take you along with us and hopefully we'll get to Pyramid Lake, do some fishing and catch some bangers, some big fish. All right, peace out. So Unagi's back in full position in the morning and I just had to show you these mountains these are the Sierras and they go all the way down the, that way for miles and all the way up that way for miles literally that Sierras go all the way up to uh, Northern California basically uh, pretty beautiful mountain chain and uh, a lot of wilderness up there too which is amazing just got on the res, the Paiute Indian Reservation. Uh, this is be where we're gonna score our license. Well, it's a permit to fish Pyramid Lake and then a camping permit for a night. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Nevada 447 North, Washheim Street. Anyway, so we're pretty stoked, almost there. Got a probably 30 minutes and we'll get our, our tags and then get to the lake and uh, be awesome. Cool, peace out, Take we'll see you in a bit. Right lake right here is called Pyramid Lake. It has the largest cutthroat trout in the world out there. Like there, there's like 40, 50 pound cutthroat trout out in there. Massive trout, as big as king salmon. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna try our luck for two days. Uh, we can 
fish the rest of the day today and then tomorrow we're camping overnight and then we'll split after the end of the day tomorrow and head north a little bit find a camp spot somewhere but anyway it's just bad it's huge lake 80 miles long and like i don't know if it's like 20 miles wide 8 to 20 miles wide or something like that but uh, just massive fishery Hi, <laughs> so we're camped right straight ahead and this is Pyramid Lake Way across there is a big rock that looks like a pyramid and we're just kicking out because We got to be out in this deeper water right here And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a dropper nymph here. So our setup Is actually two nymphs with that yellow see that yellow indicator right there. You can see that so that acts like a bobber basically and we're gonna have to test the depth, but I'm gonna probably have to go a lot deeper than I am because I'm betting it's about 20 feet here. So I'm gonna have to adjust my bobber, but not too hard. Got a nice little thing here. Cater out here and we're fishing. <laughs> we're not getting any bites, but uh, that's how it goes here. It's really can be really tough. People come here all the time and don't catch any fish, so. But we're hoping we can get something. I think I have a sinking line too, which I can paddle out a little more and I might try. And stripping that along the bottom, because it might stimulate them to hit it a little more than just a floating nymph by chance. They swim by and see it, you know? The float tube is being pulled by a fish. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got a fish on. Holy shit. I mean, unless I'm hooked on the bottom, which... I guess it's possible. Might be hooked on the bottom. back there on the shore I've got a two-handed spay rod and it's actually a 13 foot for a number seven weight but man this thing I first time I've ever used a spay rod and used two hands and you just basically roll cast it out there and so I'm using an indicator with two nymphs on there we're fishing Pyramid Lake today and I'm gonna just work this whole stretch because it drops off here it's pretty steep oh I just had a hit all right got to pay attention
Well, we're trying, we're getting it down a little bit. It's uh, definitely a cast. I'm gonna probably have to go take a lesson or watch a bunch of videos, probably take a lesson from someone I know who can do this. I should have had my dad go out with me to the park and cast. I could have learned fast from him, but that's okay next time. And uh, when we get to Idaho, we'll find someone. But it's definitely an art. I'm getting them out there once in a while, but I'm not consistent. So, but I could throw a lot more line out there and really get out there. But I think I'm okay where I'm at. It's right where it drops off. That's where they say you need to fish. Um, these big cutthroat will come in and look for the feed right along the edge here. So we're just gonna keep working down to this corner. Uh, maybe take us an hour, I don't know, but we'll just keep working along here, see if we don't get something. If we get something, I'll turn the camera on. If we don't, you'll probably see us back on the road again. Hey, how's it going? Wanagi's back there in the corner. She's checking out. Uh, we're on a dirt road, as you can see. Wanagi's back there. Anyways, we're on a dirt road. We're headed, we're in Nevada, actually, northern Nevada. Uh, and we just turned off on a farming road, basically, and it's a dirt road off the highway. And uh, it's supposed to take us to a hot springs. It's uh, on private land, but the landowner uh, lets people go on there to go on the hot springs. So it's supposed to be a good one, have just these big plastic tubs out there. Uh, so we're hoping it's still feasible. Uh, it's about, what, five o'clock at night. So either way, we're either gonna find a place to crash or we're gonna sit in the hot springs for a while and then crash. So. Uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully uh, it won't be too much farther and we'll, we'll let you know how it goes. Look here, Mr. Cows. Those are some bulls there. Big bulls. Oh yeah, those are big rodeo bulls there. You wouldn't want to mess with them. They'd mess you up. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So, never been to this one before. Kind of excited. Uh, and believe me, my body, I need it. Because driving, I've been driving since about about five hours or so and uh, my back's, my neck's pretty sore, back's pretty like, wrecked because uh, of my spine cord injuries. Uh, so it's always nice to go sit in the hot springs and relax. And then we can start another charge tomorrow. We've got a fairly long drive tomorrow. So anyways, we'll check it out when we get there.